Hello, I suffer with spastic paraplegia, but I've learned to walk around the flat without any aids. But that's why I've got my rails and that. But to give me an idea, I have trouble with my balance more than anything else because I don't, I can't, you can't really see me very well. But if I was to, I can't really show you properly. I have to get get my husband to videotape me so you can see me. Um, I don't have any feeling in my legs and as a matter of fact I took, took my dog out in the garden and my sticks and you know I was having a bit of difficulty maintaining keep my half balanced. That's the problem I had to get. It. But I've learned to compensate. There's a woman she's quadriplegic and she can even she was across me, she can do kickboxing and she can walk further distance than I can. I, because of my breathing, I, I, ha I can't walk any distance without my sticks unaided. And even then I can't go far because it affects my breathing. Um, I, I, I used to have a wheelchair, but I hate my wheelchair. Um, I've got myself a scooter now and I like that. Well, my husband doesn't have to push me anymore. Um, but I use my sticks out in the garden, but I don't use my sticks inside. I use my uh, rails, like I said, when I need to. And what you're doing with the prosthesis things, to, like, that's the best idea. Because my, my brother's a physio, and he said, when you, even though I've got paraplegia, he said, one thing you must do is keep working the muscles, because when you no longer can work the muscles and they atrophy, and that's when you, you can't move at all because the muscles won't know how to work. I mean, I've had the paraplegia has gotten so bad at times that the numbness is so bad I don't even can't even feel the ground. But I've learned to compensate, and you know, just don't give up. Keep keep it up. You'll be doing the right thing. And uh, you know, actually, I surprised myself how physically that people don't even think I'm ill. They you know they think, well, how can she be paraplegic? You know, she stands on her legs, you know, but they don't see me when I'm having trouble balancing. Mind you, my medication does contribute to help me balance and it keeps me stable. But, you know, like I said tonight, I went out and I had trouble balancing the upper half, you know, and it, it's it's just you got a, it's sometimes it's a bit of mind over matter, you got to trick your body into doing what you want it to do, not what it wants to do. But when I first went to physio, I couldn't even I couldn't even stand balance. They had to put me in a, in a girder type thing, and they gave me this ball I had to throw, and I couldn't throw it without going <laughs> one side or the other. And they said it was because my perf there was peripheral nerve damage. And uh, I said, well, what does that mean? They said, well, um, you're you're not gonna be able to, you have trouble with your balance and. You know, obviously you don't have much feeling, so, but I, I don't let it get me down. And uh, as you can see from my um, website uh, at ourparanormalworldpixel.com, you know, I, I still get out there, I still do, you know, and, you know, that's a secret, you know, don't see the disability as a disability, just see it as a challenge, and, I think you're doing great. Keep up the good work, and soon you won't need the uh, prosthesis. You'll be able to just use your sticks, and and uh, you'll soon have more freedom. But then again, it depends on what your, the cause of your paraplegia. Mine's down to um, neurotoxins. So it's but if it's down to spinal damage, it's different. But mine's down to nerve damage. But it's just uh, it, you know. It, anything's possible and I think what you're doing is great.